Hey YouTube, I'm a little little boo boo. I'm a little late with this one. If you can interpret my words, this one is called the haunting. Last time we had the worst ending, and therefore the worst episode ever. The Crocs died. Ice Skull got them. Ice Skull's back! Yay! The Crocs are dead. Ooh. Why? <laughs> So this one's called The Haunting. It would be funny if the crocs started haunting our characters, but I don't think that's how the world works. They're not supernatural in any way. They don't even have superpowers. They're just super talented at fighting and acrobatics and sports and martial arts. They're not, they're not like the shade, you know, when the shade dies, you think, oh, well, he could have, oh no, he's uh, just a puff of smoke now. He'll come back. When Ice Skull dies, ah, he could melt into a pool of water. When the crocs die, they're not going to melt into a pool of water and turn into a ghost and haunt people. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. They're dead. Dead, dead. Unless we invent a time machine, we're never getting them back. But what does the haunting mean? I don't know. How's Artemis going to feel when she gets told? And what are the team going to do when they find out? And who's ever going to find out? Unless Icicle uh, announces it. It's not like we can have... There's no bodies to find. They just disappear. Right, let's get into it. What about Ultra Humanite? What's his relationship to high school, if any? Who killed my father? Apparently nobody. Apparently nobody. Oh, we get to see it. From his perspective? Mike, Mike on standby. Get ready to run him over. I've forgotten all this part. Oh, here we go. How you doing, buddy? It was an accident. Does this mean I get to be in the JSA? <laughs> I forgot Buddy was there too. It's just as much Buddy's fault. Oh, and remember the janitor guy? Who I thought was Cindy's father for a while? Or Courtney's father? No, we just left him there. Mm -hmm. Just like Terminator 2. Maybe the Crocs can do this too. You don't know. They might have latent powers. That can be my head cannon when the show gets cancelled. Into the sewers. Where you belong, Icicle. Or Waterman. He's not happy with everybody being best friends, that's for sure. I always like when it's today. Oh, we're gonna have to close down this place. You can't get in, fellas. What's going on, man? I wanna get ripped, dude. Bro! Bro! What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. Get wimpy, I guess. Do you still want to save the world? How's your, how's your hand? That's, that's not quite right. He's not quite, he's not quite right. You should move to a colder place. You know? The Crocs are with us, and I think we can get Cindy back on board. We can get Cindy. This ain't no Donkey Kong. Yeah, if we don't stop him, it'll be game over. Yeah, we, we get the reference. We get the references. <laughs> you know, you don't have to do a joke on top of every joke that I do. <laughs> it's called banter, Pat. It's just serious. banter. Anyway, Pac-Man. Okay, banter aside, <laughs> we need the McKins too. Oh, I have no idea who that's going to be. Artemis, maybe? Yep, yeah, Artemis. Have you seen my parents? Get in here, Artemis. You're part of the team. We need to adopt her also, since she has no parents anymore. Oh, is he going? Are you going home, buddy? He's barely keeping it together out here. She loves him more than anything. Father. Jordan? He's back. 
person in there. You're no longer the most evil person on the show. We're done, man. Oh, 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 oh. Not me, that doctor. Hey, Pops. Papa. Oh. Those two have been great this season, by the way. Dad? Cameron. A big, fat, happy family reunion. I'm home. He's fritzing, though. He's a bit fritzy. Maybe Cameron can help him. Where have you been, Dad? The sewers. I had no consciousness. Just... Dreams. It took everything I had to, to reform. Your grandparents... They explained everything to you, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Crush our enemies. Our that sort of thing. Courtney told me she was the one who killed you. It wasn't Courtney who did it. It was that kid. It was her brother. The little brat. And, and their dog. But that's all in the past now. And I've forgiven him. But not the Crocs. But the Crocs betrayed me. My powers are somehow even stronger. Stronger? Courtney's group and I, we we want the same thing. We do? We could just never agree on how we should achieve that. Mm. Do we have free? In a way. Yes, Father. When our enemies are dead, they... I want peace. That's a piece of... a type, isn't it? Pops. When we can't hear their wailing anymore. Guys, I've picked up a signal from Sportsmaster's mask. The masks. I've found an access point. That's how they can find that they're dead. I was wondering, because there's no bodies, but yeah, the masks survived. Where's Rick? He didn't return my calls. Yeah, Rick is too angry anyway. This tunnel seems a lot brighter in the daytime. This is Command Central for a peeping Tom. Any clues, Beth? This room's too small for a giant mutant gorilla. Mm. You wouldn't fit down that sewer Look. manhole. It's a manhole, not an apron. Oh my god. Uh oh. Tactfully, Beth. Courtney, these are human remains. <gasps> oh, I feel bad for Artemis. We don't even know her that well. <laughs> oh, someone give her a hug or something. <laughs> She's gonna want revenge. Very real reaction. I like that. I mean, I hate that they're dead, but I like her reaction to it. Oh, her best friend is dead. Now she got to go to these stupid meetings now. Barbara, you're never gonna believe it. Jordan's back. He's back. <laughs> Hello, Barbara. Oh, she's gonna drop this coffee. She didn't drop it. I would have dropped it. I feel like dropping something right now. Redler, is there? Do they have any signal? Like, holy shit, Jordan's it's good here. To see you, Barbara. How? I wasn't sure myself at first. Sure, sheer force of will. What do you want? I want my life back. Start over. I'm a changed man, and to show I mean business, I am willing to help the JSA take down the ultra humanite. Hmm. Hmm. How do you know about that? He's been watching. I've been watching Blue Valley for some time. This ties him to the cameras. He didn't freeze Crusher and Paula. You did. You. I didn't want to. Oh, Barbara, I didn't even really set out to. They came in and it happened so fast. You lured them in. But it can end there. All of it. He just said he changed. But he just killed people yesterday. When you're ready to accept my help against the Ultra Humanite, let me know. Sure, Jordan. I would have just gone along with him, and then gone for help, and never come to work again. Meanwhile, no, oh, Queen, or Starman, you can never be quite sure who has the staff. You here on your own, buddy? Come out, come out, wherever you want. No, we gotta save the budget, Starman. You damn dirty ape. Can't show him too often. Sylvester? Just out yeah. of my own, Courtney. I've been trying to call you. Icicle's back. Just like you, resurrected. We need to regroup. Oh, he's losing it. He's losing it. Sylvester? He's losing it. He just blew up the whole frickin' barn. It's early season three Starman. 
Back with a vengeance. Nobody's gonna be able to talk him down this time. Hey, calm down, all right? Just take it oh, easy. Maybe Pat will. <laughs> Jordan McCann, put me in the ground. Well, we gotta draw the line somewhere, and the icicle is it. I kind of, I kind of agree. But we all thought that he was dead. Well, you should have made sure. Yeah, separate the ice. The ultra humanite. They're sworn enemies. We can use that to our advantage. Or we can get them to kill each other, maybe. I'm taking out Icicle myself, whether anyone approves of it or not. All right. Oh, I love this music. It's the crazy music. But he sort of has a point, you know? How's this gonna go? My dad's back. It's a miracle. He killed the yes. Crocs. It means everything has changed. Cameron, he's been back for one day and Artemis's parents are dead. Yep. I know. You know. It was self-defense. Self okay, he thought they were attacking him. Psh. Remember when they did the spinning kiss earlier in the season? He wants us to live in peace. Isn't that what you want to? And we got a giant ape to deal with. How about, how about that? He misses you. Things can be different now. We can work together like you always wanted. Even my grandmother's agreed. Yeah, and you know what she's like. What do you think, Courtney? Think about it. He, be he believes what he's saying, and she she doesn't know what happened to the Crocs. You know how, how it went down? I got a good one. What are we wishing? I'm going to wish that Icicle didn't have his powers. I'm sorry, Jakeem. I, I can't do that. You can't do that? Why not? Why, why not? Because if I took his powers away, I'd kill him. And you know I can't kill anyone. You, you can't kill anybody? But if you don't take his powers away, you're killing way more people. Probably including me. I'm sorry. Killing by inaction. Ben? You're gonna need help with that. Oh, hey, Cindy. By the way, the you're doors were unlocked. Should break in? I could have been Jordan McKent. Where would you be then? Dead? Probably frozen. Let's team up. <gasps> Welcome to the Young All Star. Don't call it that, though. Uh, we're gonna have to work on that name. <laughs> okay. How about Cindy plus two? She's sitting on my bed. Don't freak out, Jakeem. Stop speaking. What you doing, Court? He's a talented boy, my son. Yeah, he spent all of season two making Thanks it. after his mother. Hello, Courtney. I don't want to be enemies, Courtney. I want us to be allies. I see now that vengeance has no purpose. And you helped me see that. Because the more I watched you, Courtney, the more I saw who you truly are. <laughs> don't fall for it, Courtney. You tried to brainwash half the country and didn't care that it would kill millions. World peace. I'm not asking you to forget. I'm just hoping you'll forgive. We can work together. And then you and Cameron can start again. No, he's using Cameron. Thanks for hearing me out. You know what? If I was him, if I was him, I would say, Hey, look, I'm not asking you to forgive or forget, but you kind of need me. So let's, you know, lean into the, lean into it a bit. You know, my powers will be useful against this super ape. Let's go get him. And then we'll look, we'll start from square one. You know, trust is earned over time. So we deal with the threat and then we call a truce. And then if nobody kills anybody, then nobody kills anybody and we're all good. That's the way I would approach it. If I was a super villain. But using Cameron, that's, that's a good trick too. But I wouldn't be using this. You've inspired me. I've changed nonsense, you know? Nobody believes that. What's she gonna do? She has no parents. She gonna have to move in with Yolanda and Courtney and Starman. She gonna start wrecking the room? Can't believe we just left her on her own. Somebody here? Artemis? Oh, Barbara. Come back over. You can't be alone here. Come on, we're adopting you. We'll make half half the basement into a gym. Yeah, poor kid. She called. She called her mom. Let's get a mucho, mama. 
Yeah, this is going to bring anybody closer to their parents. Even Beth. Even Beth. She has to agree to this, Pat. She has to. What here am she, I supposed to do? Here she is. I want to go after Icicle. What do you think? He is just playing us like he always has. Mm -hmm. After all the support I've given you. Yeah, hang on now. I'm asking you. Hang on now. <laughs> Let me take the staff. We're the ones who gave you this word. This is a tough position to put Cordy in. Dad? Where are you, Jordan? Coming out to... Hey, maybe they're best friends, him and Ultra Humanite. Hey, buddy. You here, buddy? The plan is going exactly as we expected. Be careful, there's nets around here, Jordan. Cindy set up a bunch of... Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? It's time. Yeah. They're in league. In leagues, I tells you. We can't trust Ice Skull as far as we can throw him. Unless he turns into a, va a jav javelin. Then we can throw him pretty far, right? Then we can trust him a lot. But if he turns into a big boulder, we'd be like, whoa. Rick, move your head. That was episode 11 of season 3, and that was called The Haunting. And The Haunting in this case was... Just, just Jordan being back from from the dead. His his presence, his living presence, was haunting the entire cast in various ways. The Crocs, the Crocs' death really made a big impact in the story, which I, I like, and I especially liked Artemis's story in this episode. Her reaction to it was very visceral and real, and oh. I thought they'd left her on, her on her own in that house. In her house. I'm glad Barbara came to get her. Because, you know, she's got nobody. And she was barely part of, you know, our, our team in the first place. But now now we gotta, we just gotta, we have to adopt her. You know, I know we already have Yolanda and Starman, but... We've got a big house, and we've got a huge basement, and we probably have an attic space too. You know, it could just be like... I don't know, the Waltons or something? By the end of the show? But yeah, I liked I liked her, her anger and her her desperation and her rage and her how upset she was, how devastated she was at her parents' death. And uh, if Starman doesn't kill Icicle, she could do it. You know, of the, the people who are most upset, Artemis is top of the list, then Starman, and then everybody else. Cameron is sort of kind of caught between two worlds. He doesn't know what to believe. It's not that he doesn't know what to believe. He wants to believe that his father is a good guy. He wants to believe the lies that his father is telling. And Courtney is kind of under the... I don't know. She's close to where Cameron is. Because she's full of always full of hope and always full of trust. And she likes to trust people and reform them. So she wants to believe High School. But killing the Crocs, if you want if High School wanted to get the trust of the, the whole group, just don't kill the Crocs. Easy peasy. And then they they they'd be much more willing to trust you. But that that those deaths like yesterday, really undermining your point that you've changed. At least he admitted it, I guess. You know, he isn't hiding it. He isn't saying what? Who? Never heard of them. At least he's saying, yeah, I killed them, but they came after me. I was wearing a mask. They didn't know. They attacked. I had to defend myself. What else was I supposed to do? But it seems like he's in league with Ultra Humanoid. To do what? To kill them all? To take over Blue Valley and the world? And get world peace in some way? Probably. I liked his reunion with his parents, too. Because they'd been upset about losing him you know whether he's good or evil parents are gonna love having their son back um no rick we didn't see rick at all so working off his anger issues and his injuries um 
mostly to his pride. We still have to deal with him and his limiter issues, right? And yeah, I thought we wouldn't be able to find the bodies, but the masks survived the, uh, the death. So Beth was able to track them down. Pretty handy to have Beth on your team, you know? And Yolanda called her mom, because of course she would. After seeing what happened to Artemis's parents, you want to reach out to your own. And that makes sense. She didn't tell her much, but she at least... You know, there's a door open for reconciliation between those two. And I can see them, her telling her more and moving back in with, with them at some point. But Starman, Starman's back. Now that Icicle's back, Starman is back to his early season... Um, his early season rages. Maybe that's why he came back. Maybe that's the whole, that's his destiny. That's why he climbed out of that grave. So that he could get Jordan, he could get revenge on Ice Girl once and for all. So, I'm expecting a big, big battle between those. What are the final two episodes called? The next one is called Last Will and Testament of Sylvester Pemberton. Which sounds like he's gonna die, but he's already died. He's already died. And in his will, he said, Oh, you better kill the person who kills me. No matter he's back, he's gonna enforce that. But if Courtney doesn't agree to him, his terms, is he just gonna take the staff and go anyway? The staff doesn't really object too much. The staff is a neutral entity, neither good nor bad. It's a bit like the pen, kind of a bit mischievous, you know, when it comes to doing things that you might not want it to do. Remember when it, I don't know, whammied brainwave? And it was gonna mangle people's faces and it was just, it was just all out of control in the first few seasons. I remember, I remember thinking, geez, this staff is a bit, could potentially be evil in the wrong hands or even in the right hands. The final episode is called Reckoning. But these two episodes, we're going to have a week break now, so we won't have one next week. But then we'll have two. Two, not, not two together, but one week after the next. And then we are potentially done forever, but we'll see. We'll see. So, hey, oh, and the pen. No wishes. Can't perform a wish that will get somebody killed. That's a new rule. Can't make a wish that we've already wished for. Can't do a wish that results in the death of somebody. So, yeah. Just remember all these wishes. All these rules. And, yeah. I think that's it. Cindy is part of the... Uh, she joined up, finally. <laughs> I'm glad she was in it. I'm glad she... We knew that her and Mike and Jakeem were gonna team up at some point, so... There's just a funny... It's just a funny scenes with them, you know? Alright, I won't see you next week, but I'll see you in two weeks. Have a great day. See you next time.